Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is Mod Wednesday. Well, today's mod, I am uh, highlighting a script. Uh, it's called SE DOS Inventory 1.0, and it is by R Dr. House XX. And so, what the script does is it helps you kind of manage inventory. It's, there's, I know there's several scripts out there. Izzy has a pretty good script out there. Uh, this uh, is fairly easy to set up and you can pretty much uh, kind of set it up as a control room. Uh, it only handles, uh, pretty much it, uh, unless I'm getting it confused, it, uh, uh, I don't know if it will go down to subgrips. It doesn't mention that in there. Uh, but it does make it easy that you can track your elements and your components uh, and tools across several different LCD screens. Or you can kind of group them all together. Uh, I didn't go into that much detail here. Uh, what I wanted to show you was uh, I have one set up for ore. Uh, shows uh, cobalt, gold, iron, and platinum. And if we go into the container, you'll see that I have 100 of each of those in there. The, uh, and then the next one is ingots. And what we're going to do is set up uh, the third and fourth one here, if I can do that. So let's hold on. Let me uh, bring up the programmable block. And we need to... Go down to edit and if we go down here this line right here is where you add it uh, you don't uh, need to touch anything else uh, so this is the first container right here LCD 1 or container 1 LCD 2 ingot is the second container container 2 so now what we have to do is and it's very important this little uh, semicolon here on the end is important and you need to get the right bracket so if we put a uh, comma and then a uh, well let's do it like this let's just uh, do a copy you get it highlighted here that uh, and so control control C and then if we come over here uh, actually right here control V and then we want to change this to LCD 3 and LCD or container three. Oh, and I think it is case sensitive too. So I think it was very important because I think I've fiddled around with this and I had a small C here instead of a large C. And uh, I think the next thing I have in here is components. Uh, yeah, so let's put uh, components in. Take the ingot out. We need to check our code. Successful. Uh, click OK. And run. And, oh, I guess I, what did I have in this container? Yeah. Uh, components. So, let's see. I thought components was... Let's uh, try this again. Let's see what I did wrong. Back to programmable block. Uh, component. Let's uh, edit. Double check this here. 
target tool or ammo component, which component should be, did I not get it put in here correctly? LCD three underscore uh, component C O M P O O. I spelled it wrong. Uh, and E and T. Now let's check code. Okay. Uh, okay. Close that out. There we go. I just spelled it wrong. Uh, so there's our components. We got girders, interior plates, steel plates, and uh, metal grids right in here. So you can kind of see. Now I put these up above, but if you put these down lower, then it's probably going to be a lot easier to read. Uh, but you can kind of visually see what's in there. So if we drop this down, <coughs> I wanted to do one more thing, and I think I have... Uh, uh, these are going to be tools, tools and ammo. And I put ammo in there and I'm going to do the tools. So let's go down to our programmable block. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's go to edit, uh, scroll down. Let's copy copy this line control C and then if we put that right there control V and we change this to 4 and 4 and I think it's tool uh, let's scroll up a little bit Tool. And I'm not sure if we can do it like this, but let's do tool, Oop. tool, and let's see if underscore ammo and underscore. Let's see if that works. I'm not sure if that will work or not. Let's check code. Okay. Uh, okay. And close. Alright, so the other thing that I had to fiddle around with, that they don't really mention, but if we go down to here, and we change this content to script, and let's close that. And I think I need to go back into programmable block now and uh, recompile run I took me some fiddling around with to get it to begin with and maybe it doesn't like that ammo so let's do it like this I know you can do groups so let's go back and edit this let's, uh, edit and let's just take out the ammo portion. Uh, let's take this out. And check code. Okay. And okay. And, and there it goes. Okay, so it's going to show each and every one of those tools in there. And so it's going to send and scroll through. Uh, and so this is on a transparent so I had put a bunch of them in there uh, if you go into here and you can see that I've got all of these that I put in there uh, wasn't really thinking but it's got the guns and that little bit of ammo down at the bottom but apparently it didn't like the way I did that but I know you can group these uh, if you select it, in this case, if you wanted to show all, uh, it would show all. I was hoping that it would group each tool into one and show 100 of them out there, but it doesn't do that. All right. Well, that is SE DOS Inventory 1.0.
And I am actually, uh, it's going to be a perfect script for me to use coming up in my base build that I'm working on. And I'm about ready for that. And I think what I want to do is put use, uh, use that, and put my inventories in on it and show that. Okay, that was SE DOS Inventory 1.0, and it's by R. Dr. House XX. And you can see that, uh, you'll see it in the, the script or in the uh, ledger which I first started. Okay, all you space engineers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And please subscribe, it really helps out the channel and uh, ring that bell it'll let you know when i am uploading new uh, videos and i'm doing that on a pretty much a weekly basis okay all you space engineers out there keep your heads low don't get shot keep building away and with that commander kingfish is out of here and i will see you all in the next video thanks for watching everyone <laughs>